Good morning, Fellowship. Hi, Chris fam. Hey, this is your jump start for Monday, April the 11th. And our focal passage is Romans 9 through 11, or, or 10, 9 through 11. Um, and here's what it says. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. As the scriptures tell us, anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced. You know, um, there have been times that I've used my voice and my platform and my resources to speak for people, to declare that these are good people, that you should do business with them, that um, you should uh, I, to be references for people to, to improve their situation. Only to have some of those same people stab me in the back, to um, tear me down, to um, hurt me, to break trust and different things of that nature. And in those times, it's incredibly heartbreaking because this is someone who you felt like you did uh, believe in, in who they were and what they were doing, whether it be a person or organization or institution. Um, and you did openly declare for them. And it makes you kind of gun shy to do that with anyone else. And here's the difference. We should do that. We should uh, lend our voice and our resources and our platforms to speak um, and declare the goodness that we see in others and in institutions. Um, we should believe the best about others. But we can never find our salvation in the support of others. For it will always lead to us being disgraced. Because every man-made institution and organization is led by um, men and women who are born in sin. And there is a gap there. Um, does that mean that we shouldn't be a part of institutions or organizations? No. Uh, it just means that we have to maintain the proper relationship. We have to make sure that while we um, believe the best and we support, that ultimately we find our salvation in Jesus Christ alone. Um, I have a tattoo on my wrist of a semicolon, and it and on the other side, I have the Greek word to tell us that, which means it is finished. It was words that Jesus spoke on the cross. Both help to remind me to pause and think through who am I finding my salvation in in times when life seems the darkest. I wanted them in a visible place for the thoughts that I constantly struggle with. As you prepare, um, I, I hope that you join us um, this coming Sunday for Easter because we dive into this. We look at stories that, that, that had people in dark places and we look at uh, even this pandemic that's been going on for two years now and just the desire to get back out, to trust again, to declare again, um, to believe the best again. To lend your credibility again. Marinate on these things. We'll see you on Sunday. Continue to power up, pour in, spill out. Have a great day.